Good morning and welcome to the interviews uh, that we're doing for some of the artists participating in the Riverdale Art Walk. So we are really excited. The show is in less than two weeks at Jimmy Simpson Park in Toronto. Um, we have 170 artists in total that are participating and uh, 150 of those will be in the park and an additional 20 will be online. Everyone will be online as well. So if you're not in Toronto, then you still have the ability to see all the awesome work. The show is juried and so um, you will find there's a, a selection of abstract and, and uh, representational and photography and fiber art and figurative and a number of, of different types of work. So uh, pretty excited about that. And of course, everyone is very excited to be able to actually participate in, uh, in real life again. Uh, it's been a few years and I know last year when we did the Riverdale Art Walk, it was a smaller show um, because of the fact that we had to... Um, um, you know, we had to kind of adhere to the COVID rules and this year we can just enjoy the space. So today I'm going to be talking to Warren Eberlin about his work and I'm going to just bring him right on board here so we can kind of learn a little bit about um, the work that he does and uh, to show us at the Riverdale Art Walk. Hello. Hello, Katie. You look awesome. Thank you. And you do too. Good to chat Thanks. with you this morning. Yeah, I'm glad that we were able to connect, and I can see you've got lots of your work behind you, which is great. Yep. This is my studio. So, oh, cool. Yeah. It's always, it's always good. Yeah, day. I was going to say, it's, it's always lovely to see the, the, the den where people do all the creative work. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so maybe you can start uh, talking a little bit about, uh, a little maybe about your history, how you got started as a, as a painter, what your inspiration is. A uh, long time ago, uh, my parents gave me some physio to uh, help me overcome some um, hand issues. And um, <clears throat> I started oil painting when I was six. And, wow. And, yeah, and uh, did that for a little bit and then um, decided that struggling artist isn't what I wanted to, you know, strike out as. And um, continued as a hobby right before retirement. I thought, well, maybe now's the time to go from an art dilettante to uh, more of a professional artist. And I started taking some more classes and reading lots of books, which I have here, um, and, um, and practice. And, and so that's the journey that I was on into uh, my professional career retirement to, uh, to today. So looking forward for another 20 years. Certainly, we all hope so. And have you always been interested in landscapes? Uh, yeah, um, mostly landscapes, um, some portraiture, um, that came out of, I, d I did a lot of cartoons and a lot of, uh, uh, calligraphy manuscript illumination. So, um, really leaves and trees and, and landscapes, but also people, uh, you know, it, it, people are in landscapes. So <laughs> that's true. But the primary seems to focus seems to be a kind of nature and capturing kind of the grandeur of nature from the pieces that I've seen. Absolutely. With an impressionist uh, bent to the uh, to the landscapes. And then I mm -hmm. also try to, you know, um, have bold underpaintings. So a lot of my underpaintings are um, fluorescent colors. And uh, and then I've been called bold and savage in my stuff. My, Baroque uh, and art, savage? Old and, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't think it's me, but uh, <laughs> but the brush marks I try to make very strong, and uh, and and then I try to have some dramatic changes between shadows and lights. It just adds for me more excitement and more feeling in the paintings. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and it looks to me like they're very textural. Like you can kind of almost like see the, some of the three D, like the brushwork and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I'm always yeah. trying to get back to oil painting. Yes. So, oh, you're, so you're not painting oil anymore? No, I just do acrylic and watercolor um, and, um, and some pastel. But oil painting, uh, it, I'm just impatient. It takes too long to dry. That's how I feel too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and with all the different layers of stuff, I always feel like, oh, I just, I feel like I want, I know what my vision is. I don't want to have to wait five days before I can finish executing it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested in the physics and chemistry of, uh, of acrylic. And I'm always looking for new ways of finding a medium or a gel or something that will add the, that secret level of texture to, uh, to the painting. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's part of the cool part of a, being a journey of an artist, right? Is you kind of yeah. continually experiment, you continually push it forward and, yeah. and things like that. 
is there a certain place that kind of inspires you primarily or is it just generally kind of the woods and the lakes and uh yeah generally it, it would be that but um the ones i really like are from uh, actually in jamaica so the caribbean uh oh. and then if i'm in a more mm, foggier mood than scotland uh we've traveled a lot in scotland and then just a lot in in the leaside area here um, a, a number of my paintings are of of Sunnybrook Park and familiar scenes there and then up into Algonquin. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's what it's actually one of the cool things about Toronto. If people who don't live in Toronto don't appreciate how many amazing yeah. parks and trails and, and stuff oh, there yeah. are that wind through the city. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of getting, you know, uh, that familiar scene and, and reinterpreting it and uh, hopefully catching it on a on a day when it's not too cold, but it's really bright with lots of oh, shit. So you pay, do you paint actually in, on, on site in plain air? I do some, mostly watercolors, um, which is a bit harder in the winter because things freeze really quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, in Jamaica on the beach, with, I do watercolor studies, and then I would bring it back here to my studio and work off of those studies and work off of photos and do the, the larger paintings. Uh, I also like larger paintings. I cannot do the finicky little, you know, four by four paintings. The people that do that are marvelous. I, I it, need it's definitely that. a different, it's definitely a different mindset, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Even when I go to do my six by sixes, which I use really as a sketchbook and then yeah. go to something large, yeah. you know, it's not like I can flip back and forth between them. I have to kind of almost mentally shift the way I'm seeing things. Yeah. And I like doing it on different surfaces, whether it's canvas or birch panel or burlap or um, even, you know, face painting. Um, I, <laughs> I just I just like, you know, experimenting on, on different things. I also have been checked out by the police when I've done sidewalk chalk art. So. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm sure so, they're wanting to buy it. So how do you do that? You just kind of go rogue and find a sidewalk and create something yeah, amazing? Well, usually it's in the neighborhood. Uh, and the harder part is just bending down on your knees. Uh, and right. then really a, a, your pastel painting on cement. So hmm. blending and smoothing. And um, usually I would do that for the kids. So more Disney characters, yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Hey, you should do that at Art Walk in the Square because there's lots of concrete there. <laughs> Uh, and, and warm weather. Great combo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So um, the other thing that I, I wanted to mention too is be because of our visits to Jamaica, um, I, I donate um, a portion of my sales to the ISSA Foundation, which is a, fa a charitable foundation in Jamaica that supports healthcare and education for kids. And in this time of COVID, uh, Jamaica's in, you know, fairly tough shape uh, with children trying to understand and trying to help them. So mm -hmm. at the last show I was in, I, I donated a thousand dollars of my sales to, uh, to that foundation and I'm hoping to exceed that with the Riverdale uh, sales. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So what, what's your connection? You seem to have a, a, more, a more personal connection to Jamaica than just, I traveled there a couple of times. Well, yeah, it's been more than a couple of times. We just enjoy it. It's, um, it, it's, a, it's a lovely country, beautiful scenes, and uh, lots of sights to do, you know, light and shadow and, and geometric shapes of the palm trees. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's remarkably beautiful. Mm -hmm. it, tough place to live full-time but it's you know we're fortunate to to go as visitors and is there a certain place that you particularly like in jamaica well after the fact kate i can give you recommendations <laughs> uh, okay. but, dan you caught me i wasn't very transparent there no no <laughs> but, uh, we do like the ocho rios area so a lot right. of the scenes that i've painted have been uh from sort of the ocho rios area Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And so what's, uh, what's kind of on the easel next? Uh, on the easel next is actually, it's a beach scene uh, with a number of palms. And it actually, it actually shows, let me just get it. It's, um, it actually shows some of my underpainting. 
people. So uh, wow, it, it's big, but um, it, it's a beach scene with um, palm trees and uh, palapas, and and that just shows you some of the underpaintings uh, that I that I would do. So and and since that's a great, great color, yeah, you, and you have a great color palette, Kate. So. I, I, I appreciate your comment on that. Thanks. So on that piece, how much of the lavender would be left at the end? Is it just sort of it's a highlight, or how do you work with that? Um, well, no, the, the painting over here uh, has, I use lavender on that too. So mm -hmm. I'd say about 15% uh, remains. And, you know, with acrylic, you can always add it back into if you covered up too much of it. But uh, right. no, it, it and it's really, it's an interesting color because it's, it's not the sky color, but it, it just takes over and looks like you've left sky holes for people to, to look at. It's fascinating. Right, but, I, but it's also a very tranquil color. Like it's... Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And um, uh, it's sort of, so, yes, it's tranquil and it just calms things down in the background. So if you have on top of it some very busy images, uh, it's, it's a great juxtaposition. Other times I have um, more with an Algonquin Park scene, I'd use a fluorescent pink. And uh, that really peps it up, even for a fall scene there. So right. that, that'll peek through, but probably a bit less, probably about 5 to 10% would peek through. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. So tell, uh, tell people what they should expect to see when they come to see your tent at Riverdale Art Walk. I'm going to have about 12 to 15 large paintings um of uh primarily jamaica and um and algonquin scenes i'll have one uh from scotland uh which is a large uh, glencoe uh, painting and uh, and then a bunch of watercolors i'll have uh, some smaller watercolors um available for that for that too so yeah and, awesome and yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be an interesting time. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be so nice to actually be out there with the crowds and the yeah. artists and you learn so yeah. much from people just talking with them and and uh, hearing their feedback and most of it's really good and some of it's actually enlightening. So, <laughs> yeah. well, that's what I say: the good, the bad, and the ugly. Even the ugly feedback, you know, you can at least consider sometimes, right? Yeah, you can change yeah. the way you think about your work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, well, this was awesome. I uh, really enjoyed uh, chatting with you, and I look forward to seeing you work in person at the Riverdale Art Walk in less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. See you all. That's there. right. Okay, thanks so much, Warren. Bye. Bye.